Hello, and welcome to this video about the Second Brain Notion template. In this video, we'll walk through how to use it to get your life organized. So, without further delay, let's jump into the tutorial. We'll start with a quick overview of the dashboard. At the top, you'll see all the key pages we'll explore in detail later. On the top left, you'll find the Notification Center, where you can check your daily updates, including the number of tasks and upcoming events for the day. Just below that is the Brain Dump section, a space for capturing your notes and ideas. On the right side of the dashboard, you'll find a to-do list and a mood tracker. The center of the dashboard is organized into key areas, such as projects, resources, and goals. We'll dive deeper into these sections later. For now, click the button at the top right to get started. Welcome to your personal calendar, where you can easily manage your schedule. Let's create a plan for the day by expanding the corresponding toggle and clicking the appropriate button. Open the new page we've just created and rename it however you like. The date property will automatically display today's date, but you can adjust it if needed. You can also set an end date and include specific times. Select a category from the existing list, or create a new one by simply typing it in. Add one or more tags to describe your plan, and set the priority on a scale from 1 to 5 stars. Now, return to the dashboard and expand the weekly board to see the plan we just created. When needed, you can update the status from Not Started to In Progress or Done. If you choose Archive, your plan will move to the Archive page to help keep your dashboard clutter-free. Just below, you'll find a monthly overview with a calendar, and at the bottom, a weekly time-blocking section. To set up the Habit Tracker section, begin by adding your habits to the designated area. From there, you can start tracking them by clicking the New button to create a new entry. When you complete a habit, simply check the corresponding box to update your progress. This will also update your monthly progress. If you check off all your habits for the day, it will add a day to the Total Days Completed section, which tracks your progress on a monthly basis. To start using the morning routine, go to the Habits to Track page and customize the 10 default habits. Once done, they'll appear on your dashboard, and all you need to do is track them by clicking the respective checkboxes. As you make progress, the Habits Report section will automatically update. The Night Routine section works in exactly the same way. Let's create a project to see how it works. First, click the New button and rename the page as you like. Next, click here to add a new area. The areas correspond to the ones we discussed earlier in the Home Page Overview. The page will be split into two sections. On the left, you'll see a Calendar view for tasks, and on the right, a Task List view. From the Unscheduled section, create a new task by clicking New and opening the page. Rename your task, and you'll see the area you previously added. Enter the estimated time in minutes, then update the task status from Not Started to something like Work in Progress, and the progress bar will update automatically. Now, head back to the project dashboard to schedule this task. Simply move it from its current position to the calendar view, assigning it to your chosen date. If the date is today, it will also appear in the list view. You can create tasks from anywhere within the project. Now, let's create another task directly from the calendar view, following the same steps. When you return to the dashboard, you'll see the overall progress for the project, with the progress bar reflecting all task data. The total time for the project will also be calculated, giving you a clear picture of how long the project will take and its current progress based on task statuses.
Go back to the Project Management page to get an overview of all your projects and tasks. This is where you can manage multiple projects at once. You'll find your tasks for the day at the top, followed by upcoming tasks for the week. Below that is a monthly calendar, which allows you to see all your tasks for the month, regardless of the project. To schedule unscheduled tasks, simply drag them from their current section to the calendar view, just like we did before. The resources database is structured as a wiki, utilizing a new Notion feature that centralizes your knowledge for easy access. You can organize and find resources effortlessly by navigating through different views or creating custom filters as needed. To add a new resource, click on the capture box from the wiki dashboard. A new page will appear in the inbox section at the bottom. Open the page and select from 13 pre-configured templates. Give your resource a name, add a cover, and assign an author from the existing list or create a new one. You can categorize your resource by selecting one or more themes and, if applicable, include a URL link. To make the resource visible on the dashboard, change its status from Inbox to another appropriate category. The verification status ensures the accuracy and credibility of the resource. If you wish to archive a resource, simply change its status. Below the Inbox section, you'll find resources ready to be organized. You can sort them into pre-configured toggles by dragging them to the desired location. Remember, whenever you create a new page in your wiki, it will automatically appear in this section for easy organization. The Personal Goals page operates on a monthly basis. To add a new objective, go to the Objectives and Key Results section. Click the New button for the month you want to add it to and name your new goal. Select an area from the existing list and set your target. After that, you can enter the results based on the objective you're tracking, and the progress bar will update automatically. The bullet journal is designed for simplicity. Just click the action button at the top left of the page to open a new page. Choose from the six pre-configured templates based on what you want to add. Next, rename the page and add one or more tags to describe it. You can then customize the content of the page as needed. In the Areas section, you'll find all the content associated with each area you've linked. For instance, when we created projects, resources, and goals earlier, we linked them to specific areas. Areas act as a hub where you can access all related content. You can also navigate through different areas by selecting the one you want to view.